G'day guys, Smith City here for Smith City Product Views. Well, I was given this by one of my PT clients and good mate Ben. It's Cooper's Mid Ale 3.5%. I've never had the Mid Ale from Cooper's. I've obviously tried a fair few Cooper's in my time. I don't think I've really ever reviewed any Cooper's on this channel. I don't believe so. So anyway, it's got a orange bottle cap with silver writing. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see what this tastes like. Footy's on in the background, watching a little bit of Lego Masters in between. We can smell it from here. Bubbles are very large. They'll go down pretty quickly. It's a bit of light hitting it from the camera. It's making it lighter, but it's got a bit of a haze to it. It's heavily carbonated. I'm not too sure if you can see that. Yeah, you definitely can see that. There it is. Not getting much on the aroma, guys. Anyway, straight in. Pelican right now. Mmm. It's got sort of that, um chemically um, aftertaste that sort of like a Carlton Draft has. The first and foremost up front, just a bucket load of citrus. It's a little bit sweet, a bit malty, but that maltiness has got a bit of a, a strange um, that molson has got a bit of a strange bitterness on the back end. It's, it's tolerable. It's not, um, it's not repulsive, that aftertaste, but it definitely is not necessarily one of, in which I like to have on my palate. But, if I was somewhere, and... Someone had a few of these and it was sunny. And, um, you know, that was a beer that was on um, offering. I, I definitely wouldn't say no to it. I've definitely had most of the Coopers, if not all of them. And, um, you know, I rate, I rate them as a, as a brand. Um, and so... You know, knowing what I'd probably rate all of them, I'm probably going to give this, drinkability-wise, probably an 8. Rating-wise, in terms of, like, the beers that I've tried all throughout my channel, this is probably a 6. Um, quickly give it a read off the back. Uh, this uh, Cooper's is renowned for its exp expertise in top fermentation and natural bottle conditioning. This process gives mid ale a cloudy appearance and fruity and floral aroma. The balanced use of malt and hops delivers a refreshing palate, finishing with a crisp bitterness. Anyway, that's it for me. Catch up.